Hey guys, Ricky here again. I got another cool Huna product I want to show you. This here is the Huna 580 hydraulic wheel loader, 1 14th scale. Uh, this is another machine that's on the in the hobby class. It's uh, between between the full hydraulic excavator and the plastic kids toy. This thing is uh, got all metal bucket, metal lifting arms, worm gear, pistons, uh, four wheel drive, articulated steering, 7.2 volt. Um, 2000 milliamp lipo battery comes with the controller manual uh, basic charger uh, the controller is full way um, proportional to which is really cool it's not um, it's not just on or off movements you they're proportional for micro movements it's got lights um, sound let me show you, get an idea what size it is here. It's a pretty chunky unit. We'll put it in the scale in a minute. But all metal bucket, metal arms, pretty much just like a real, it is a real loader, just a small one. I'll show you how it sits too. It's easy to sit right on its roof. Put the battery in. The battery compartment's in the back here. It actually adds a little more counterweight while it's on. We'll put it in. Plug this bad boy in. This works in conjunction uh, with the excavator I showed you in the last video. Of course, you can use it on its own, but I bought the whole kit. I bought this myself. It's not a sponsored item. None of my stuff I show is sponsored items. I pay for it all. They're all units that that I bought for my own use. Uh, let's fire this thing up. There's the sound you can hear going now. Let's shut that off. Bucket moves up and down with this lever. Tip forward and backwards. Very strong. It's got limit switches to stop it when it gets all the way to the end of its range. Worm gear steering. Four wheel drive. Rubber tires, but they're infilled, so when you get a big weight on them, they just sit squat a good level. Driving over the manual. This, this thing's got some strength too. I brought brought a couple weights to show you. I got here some five pound gold gym weights. I got two of them. If you can believe it, this bad boy will lift them both. If you can get them balanced in there. get hard to balance him there's one there's two ten pounds right there <laughs> That's a little overboard there, just to dem show you that it will lift it, and it doesn't even, I think it weighs about 10 pounds, so the unit will lift its own weight. Great digging in the dirt. Comes with this cool box up there.
This one's cardboard with styrofoam insert. It's not quite as nice as the the, the excavator box, but still it's got a nice quality handle on it with metal latches. Foam fit box so the whole unit can go in there, fits the controller, everything else. Perfect for storage. And the handle fits through the through the plastic so it's pulling from the inside, not from the not from the cardboard up there. Trickle charger with it, mention that. It can charge it with any of your standard LiPo chargers you have at home. Let's see if we can put this thing on the scale and see what it weighs. Better put some. I'm gonna need these to span the wheels. Zero it out. All right, zero it out. Yeah, let's put these on there, see if they... 5.2. Let's put this bad boy on there. 10.51. That's what we just had in the bucket. I don't, I don't even think this thing weighs that much. But let's see. Yep, 9.10, and it had 10 pounds in the bucket, so it lifted a pound more than it weighs. That's, that's pretty good. They give you an idea where the balance point is. It's behind the front tires. Not the balance point, but the uh, pivot points behind the front tires, and uh, all the rest of the weight is in the back. All, most of the, probably seven of the nine pounds is in the back. And this thing, any, this thing will dig anything you can get a, get a shovel on. And it's also got the uh, automatic adjuster on the bucket arm. So when you're, uh, when you're lifting up, it um, stays at the level that you put the bucket. Well, let's do a little bit this way. But if you're into RC construction equipment, or you're into everything RC like I am, this thing is, is a must have. It's another one of these units that was recently unavailable. You only had the toy grade ones or the $2,000 full hydraulic ones. And this fits right in the space perfectly with all metal arms, worm gear pistons. These are bigger than on the excavator and they got a lot of torque to them. And um, works well with the excavator too, together when you get them out there with the homemade trommel I made. This, and the dump truck, I'll show you the dump truck in another video. You got pretty much a full scale construction site. And it's fun. It's fun to use these when you're doing some construction and you don't touch anything. Try your best not to touch stuff by hand. Um, if you need to move a piece of equipment or whatnot, you uh, rig it up and use the excavator or the, uh, the loader to move the stuff and try not to touch it. The game is don't touch anything with your hands and try to get everything done. I also have a crane that I'm going to show you in another video. That one's really cool for moving stuff around the site without, without touching it. And uh, with all these together, um, you got a cool setup. I put a link in the description down there for this. Like I said, I paid for these all these things. I don't have sponsored by anybody. Um, these are all units that I want, but I put a link in there to show you where you can get it at Amazon. And it's a pretty good price there too. Um, so if you're uh, interested, check out the link below and um, give it a look. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe. Ricky out.